Hello everyone, this is Matt with ESC United. Welcome back, actually. This is the second session, the second episode of our ASD Lao reaction video. Yesterday, actually, I posted the first video of the first semifinal where I reviewed and reacted to the first 10 songs. And today, actually, just a little earlier today, the other 10 songs from semifinal 2 were released. So, let's take a listen together and see if we like something here. Keep in mind, this is me. This is my personal first reaction, and I'm trying to be as normal and authentic as I can be. But I'm human, I have strong reactions and strong opinions. You may or may not disagree. That is okay, don't worry, I'm not taking it personally. But I want you to, afterwards, leave a comment in the comment section below, letting me know which song was your favorite or where you think I may be off. Uh, with that being said, let's get started because this is going to be a longer video. Get comfy. All right, first song coming up. I'm so excited. This is the favorite time of the year for me. All right, for everyone, I would assume. First up is Elise Parna and Gerli Padar. Um, she's actually, in case you didn't know or you're still fairly young, uh, she represented... Estonia in 2007 with Partners in Crime. Didn't quite make it, but maybe this year. In addition, she's also the sister of Tanel Padar, who won the contest in 2001 with everybody. Anyways, enough talking, let's play the song. It's a ballad! Most likely, that is. Another dawning day, another morning light Two empty glasses, something on your mind Pretty. The way you held me, knowing there's no other night. The ballads hate are already getting ready. Get angry I've in three, so two, one. Alright. Good production. Good production. Good vocals, too. I really like the melody. The voices are very similar, like you can hardly tell them apart, actually. Interesting. I'm curious if I'm gonna go with some really kick-ass harmonies here. Yes, it's a Disney ballad. I get it. I love Disney ballads. Could be from the newest and latest and greatest Disney movie. But that's not a bad thing. That's a compliment. Disney writes really good music. Ah. Oh. Can you feel the build? It's building! Backup vocal, it's kicking in! That's good! You're keeping me hooked here! Piano! Oh, wow. Yes, so if I had to use one word to describe it, it's magical. High quality production, really good vocals, they have some harmonies. I wish there was a little bit more going on. I thought it's really gonna go like, yeah. They have these backup vocals kind of coming in and then they were just like, and we're gone. So um, that was a little disappointing, but their voices are great. It's my kind of song. Um, I'm not sure how it'll come across live and if people will connect with it and that's what it comes down to. But if these two singers and I'm making an assumption here, are really good vocalists live, then I think it's what's going to draw people in. Um, I really, really like it. And I think if I listen to it again, I may like it even better. So, um, yay. All right, next up, you fools, it's Evestus with Welcome to My Mind. All right. That startled me. Somebody is breaking stuff. At least that's what it sounds like. Oh. Uh, those are some really bad vocals, especially for considering it's being recorded. Wow, quite political lyrics there. Mm -hmm. Welcome to religion, everyone is wrong. He said it. Wow, this is very depressing. Jesus. Corruption, hunger, pain. Welcome to my world. That's a crappy world you're in. 
we're done. Another one of those, and we're finished. Let's stop singing. I hate these abrupt endings. It happened yesterday. Anyway, so, um, welcome to my world. This song is for people who want to know what it feels like to be depressed, I guess. Welcome to my hunger. Welcome to my pain. We're going to blow up the world, and what else? Well, there's plenty of negativity in that song. I'm not saying you always have to sing about rainbows and unicorn farts. I get that. But man, this is tough. This is really, really tough. I don't even dislike the arrangement per se. It's a little boring. It's because that's all just repetitively over and over again. So they could have done so much more with it if they want to have a more somber message for the lack of a better word i could have done a better job with that at least it's going to be an interesting performance i have a feeling whether or not that's going to be enough we shall see but i'm depressed now i need a drink and i don't even drink alcohol all right let's hope that the next song is not about cancer and death um it is frankie animal can't keep calling misty sounds a little bit more uplifting but we shall see you were my lover for a long time Alright Couldn't see any other Though I know I'm the only one With my heart in a rubble You remind me of a good time oh. Okay, I thought this was going to be good But I don't like the chorus at all They're just mumbling This is so what I expect from uh, Estonia though They have this weird indie songs that they're always half in the running. People like it, but it's not a winner. Yeah, it's still pretty dark. Not as uplifting as I was hoping. I do like her voice, though. Good voice. It just goes right in here and out of the other ear for me. It's all about her voice for me. Oh, ouch. Not good. Oh, it's just noisy to no end. Oh, God, no, oh, no. No, no, this is, I'm biased against this one. I just don't like that kind of sound. It was just so over-the-top noisy. And yes, indie music is very popular in certain parts of the continent and apparently in Estonia as well. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I wish I could be more exciting, uh, excited about this. I do like her voice, actually. I just don't like the whole composition as a whole. And <laughs> I said whole. I really don't have a whole lot of positive things to say about this one. It was really noisy and mostly unpleasant to my ears. I'm very sorry. Hashtag not sorry. All right, song number... Four. Um, we have Girls and Pearls. Oh, I love that name. They better, if they win, they better follow suit and show up with a bunch of pearls on them. Uh, the name of the song is Spellbound. So let's check it out. I don't really have a strong opinion at all about this one yet. I just don't seem to be clicking with it at all. I really don't dislike it. Huh. I wish there would be something more going on there. It's fairly flat. It's like... Uh, empty. Fairly empty. better life. I think this needs to be performed live to really captivate people, because right now, it's just... Oop, it's a different song now? I like that part. That's kind of cool. Ah. Oh, that woke me up. <laughs> this should have been more of a beat. It should be a little faster. It's like they slowed it down, and it just loses all its power and energy. And... It was like 30 seconds of awesomeness there. And now they lost me again. Ah, interesting. I, I'm not opposed to this song at all. It's just, as I mentioned, 
falls a little flat for me. It just seems too slow. I felt like they should speed it up a little bit to really keep me going, and they didn't do that. Now, I like that little change that they had there. It's like, whoa, what just happened? So, but other than that, I'm like, what? Again, I don't hate it, but then again, there are a lot of things I don't hate. All right, so who do we have next? Song number five is Indrek Ventman. Oh, Ventman. Temple. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought it was going to be in English because of Temple. I guess it's not. I like the Estonian language. There's something really awesome about it. Mm -hmm. Alright. It's building, it's building. Keep it building. So far, so good. Is something else going to happen here? I feel like he's just about to really kick it up a notch and then he decided last minute, ah, now never mind. It's like he repeats the same lines over and over again. Okay, so I don't speak Estonian, but it's pretty clear that all he does is sing the same two lines over and over again, which is really annoying. Even though I don't know what he's saying, I'm bothered by it. The song, actually, I do like a lot about it. I like the arrangement. I do like his vocals. Um, so there's a lot of good things to be said about this song. But it is repetitive. It feels like it's a little anticlimactic. It appears to me at least they're just going to be like, okay, I'm just about to really, really going to blow your mind. And it's like, never mind, I'm not going to do that. If I had to sum this up, a wasted opportunity. And I don't hate it, but I will not cry myself to sleep if this won't win. So, mm. All right, we're halfway through the songs. Five down, five to go. Hang in there. We're getting there. All right, song number six. Carl Christian and Carl Killing featuring whatever. And it is Young. That's the name of the song. 17. <gasps> oh, they're getting... They're starting immediately. I like it. I like it. Aha! Uh -huh. It's sort of a curveball here with that sound. Right. I like this part, it's my favorite. It's a kind of song I totally did not pay any attention to the lyrics, to the words, whatever. I can see that actually charting. In like the Billboard chart, the mainstream one that is. Yes, so it's a good song. It's very radio friendly. It's something that belongs uh, in 2018, if you will. Now, keep in mind, I'm not the one that always advertises for um, chart friendly songs. I want to have songs that are a little bit more daring and risky. Look at Portugal last year. Not the most radio friendly song yet it won because good music will prevail. That was a little dramatic. Um, but this one, it's good. I like it. It feels like there is something missing. I wasn't blown away by it, but I was entertained enough. I'm okay with it. I will not write any complaint letters to the band. I love Eurovision. I could do this all day long. So anyways, next up it is Maru Lanik. Tana Utsusaite Aite. So much fun butchering other languages. <laughs> Ah. I'm not sure what's, where this is going right now. Anything else going on here? Ah. Is that like Estonian country music? This is so vanilla to me though. Key change! That's how you do it. It is kind of there. Alright, I don't know what else to add here really. It feels like it's circling the airport 
and doesn't really land in the end. There's something charming about it, but also something very dull at the same time. Um, I said before, this may be something that if she has the charisma and personality, uh, that could win me over life, because uh, the studio version is just kind of eh. But, mm, yeah, mm, I, mm, mm, yeah, mm, mm, whatever. All right, I don't know about you, but I'm ready for a song to blow my mind, and I have a feeling this is the one. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. All right, this one's called Meza Kutsu. I mean, that's the name of the singer, I guess, and the name of the song is California. Is that a song about my California, or is it just a coincidence? It's gonna be good, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. Pues, nylon dressy. Locking, so very zesty, meet the rubber built, Meta Gucci, Tallinn Estland, Sinu in Simeshi, Kuli, Sinta Ruin, Luis, Tabat Carmen, Beda Ruya, Kathleen, Oz, Rattam, Complis, California, Ni, Pino, Tuxa, Musab, Semis, Nest, Lindu, Te, Tavagar, Ah, California, Ya, 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 California, Ya, 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 I promised myself that I'll finish every single song. It is so hard right now for me not to push that turn off button. Kupli komi bonia, kupli bonia. It's, it's never over, is it? This song is like eight minutes long, I'm telling you. It's over! I loved it! Seriously. I know I'm being dramatic here, but that is okay because that song is, um... How do we say this? Awful. It's like so aggressive in its rapping, and there is nothing else to it. Granted, if you're a rapping fan, you may appreciate that in some parallel universe, but I don't live in that universe. This was really, 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 um, let's just say I'm glad we're moving on to the next song. All right, so we have two more songs. Next up, it is Nika, and the name of the song is Knock Knock. All right. It's not gonna be like a ballad, ballady ballad. I don't know what she's singing. It's English, but I don't understand what she's singing. Ooh. All right. I have a few questions here. It's a different song all of a sudden. It's totally icebreakering us. Very confusing. This song is in such a disarray. I think I hate it. But I may love it. Oh my god. What is this? Estonia is totally trolling us this year. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so I want not bipolar but tripolar. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So let's talk this through here. I don't know what to say. Again, I I have to think about it. I'm going to have to listen to that one again cuz there was so much going on. It's hard to keep up, but here are the good thing, the good parts of it. I was not bored, and I was not annoyed. Um, yes, it's confusing. Uh, my brain was not ready to keep follow uh, follow the song. So it makes me want to come back for more. Intriguing, intriguing. I think I actually like it. And maybe I shouldn't, but there's something about it. But what is... It's like 15 songs in one. Wow, wow. Okay, so I need to listen to this one again. Last, and hopefully not least, it is Rolf Rosalu, and the name of the song, Show a Little Love. I'm begging you, show us a little love with this song. Oh, oh. Why am 
we're getting a Michael Jackson vibe from this. Good voice, really good voice. All right. Yes, Mama. Very dancey. Reminds me a little bit of like the early 90s. That kind of music was very popular then. I can, almost sounds like a little bit like George Michael too. Mixed between George Michael and Michael Jackson. This song needed a key change. That would have been even better. I know, I love key changes. Shut up. Alright, yes, yes, yes. I am actually uh, quite keen on this one. Um, first of all, I really like his voice. He can sing well, assuming that's how he's going to sound like live. Um, assuming he does, then yes, this could go really far. This can come really to life uh, on stage. Now, the song itself, I wouldn't say it's the most original, unique piece, but it's fun. It sounds familiar without being too much of a copycat of anything, at least to me. There may be a song out there, but to me, it seems original enough to stand out. I do like it. Um, yeah. All right, so um, here's my overall opinion right now of the songs. You can say whatever you want about the song selection, but it is incredibly diverse. You have pop, you have rap, you have alternative, you have indie, you have rock, you have ballads. So they certainly have a big mix, and that's usually what I expect from Esti Lau. It's a very, very interesting song uh, selection process there. And some of the songs will not appeal to you, others will, and that's the thing. And I applaud them for being brave, even if not everything is going to work. Overall, there were a lot of Oh My God songs, at least according to my own personal taste. And um, I will not pretend that I like them. But there are a few uh, songs here in, in here that I actually do appreciate and have a soft spot for. So here they are, my top three. In third place, I am putting Nika and Knock Knock. Yes, it's a messy song. There is a lot going on and I have a feeling there will be a healthy amount of people who will loathe this song. But there's something about it that I'm like, yeah, I, I can't embrace this one. Now again, I have to watch it live to see if it really comes to fruition and or if it's totally gonna fall apart. But yes, out of all the songs in the running in this semi, this is definitely higher up. So third place for Nika and Knock Knock. In second place, my second favorite song of the night is, I have to read the name, Rolf Rosalu. Show a little love, and I am showing him a little love because it's my second place. See what I did there? So anyway, no, I really like the song, actually. It, while it may not be the most unique piece out there, I have a soft spot for it. It is catchy, it is uplifting, it has, a, has great vocals, and if it's done right on stage, it could go, could go very, very far. So um, kudos to Rolf. I am a fan of your entry and I hope you'll do well uh, in a couple of months. But I do have a number one as well. And so without further ado, drums please. There are no drums here. Anyway, but my number one is Elise Parna and Gelly Pedar Sky. The first song I played tonight ended up being my favorite. Um, again, ballad haters will go like <laughs> But I'm going like, yay, it's a really good song, very well produced, uh, great singers, a beautiful melody. The lyrics are actually pretty darn good, something you don't always get from countries uh, that don't, don't have English as the first language. So I'm quite impressed with that as well. And overall, it's just really working together. Yes, I wish there would be a little bit more of a build in the end, but it has a certain magic to it that I am embracing. So I would be thrilled if this one's going to do well in Esti Lao. Uh, it definitely should, and I predict will at least qualify for the uh, Esti Lao finals, and then we'll see what's going to happen. But uh, thumbs up from me, it is my winner of the evening. So yay. 
But this is only my lousy opinion and observation of these 10 songs. Do you agree? Do you like the same songs? Do you have other favorites? Um, I would love to hear from you. All you have to do is leave comments below. And also don't forget to follow us, subscribe on YouTube. We're also on Twitter and Facebook. We're everywhere. And uh, thank you for tuning in. Let's keep that conversation going. I would love to hear and I will respond anywhere we, uh, you uh, contact us and see who will win and who your favorites are. Until then, I am Matt and have a good night. Good morning, good afternoon, good whatever.